If you're new to this channel, we are Hema and Joe, and we love a good gravel adventure. For this episode of Life's a Gem, we take you to Redlands, a new territory for us. Having never ridden this route or in the area before, we had no idea what was ahead of us. So come join us to find out what happened. We have park here in front of Sylvan Park, Section A. And we are ready to go on a gravel adventure. Are you ready, Joe? Let's do it. Ah, let's go. It is icy cold today. Hello, Big Mountain Riders. Welcome back to another video. We're on another adventure today. This time we are exploring one of the previous routes from the Strata Rosa. So unfortunately we didn't sign up in time this year to be able to do this year's route, but we figured we'd come out and kind of explore the area anyway. So I think we're doing the route from, I want to say it was like 2018, 2019. I think it was Strata Rosa 5. We'll have a link down below. This route is going to be right around like 66 67 miles um, with somewhere around 6,000 to 7,000 feet of climbing the route has us going that way but as you can see there's a gate so we're gonna try to figure out a way to go around this this gate is always locked but you can go over these rocks and there's a dirt path over there so, problem solved. We're climbing. It looks like we're heading to the mountains. So the real gravel will soon begin. We came out of this nice little neighborhood up on a hill and onto this wonderful trail. Riders up. Riders up. This part's so cool. Um, just this small little single track right behind this uh, area with houses. That's a little loose. It's super flowy. There are these little like switchback areas that had tiny bit of a berm that you can kind of fly through. What a fun little trail. Some are green and some are trees. Speed always scared me. Blue breeze to the back seat. Fell asleep right next to me. Woo! Memories come Twist and bend like the hills that came and went. Patterns pass on the wheel, color fans with the song. So we've taken a little uh, detour to keep on to this single track more from what our original route was. It was totally worth it. So fun, so flowy. One little section coming down that got a little bit uh, sketch, but it was fun enough. Would have been, would have been pretty easy on a mountain bike, but on a gravel bike, it was a little bit extra. And now I think we're back. Wait, are we back onto our trail here? Hang on, I don't know if we're supposed to keep going that way or not. Oh yeah, we're back on it, okay. We're good. I think it thought I was uh, somewhere else. The annoying part about riding in new areas is having to navigate through the route and like understand where you are in the map and and all that, but. Well, it, it's especially hard because there's so many little splits and turnoffs and you can't tell like which 
one you're supposed to be on. So you kind of know the general direction sometimes, but. Yeah, especially here, it's, there's so many little trails and, mm -hmm. but we're on the correct path now, I think. <laughs> We have rolled onto the third section of gravel, or third section off road, I should say. What? Whoa, look at it. First snack of the day? Yup. <laughs> About a little over an hour in. We haven't climbed much, so I'm assuming the climb is going to be very steep. Um, we'll see. We'll find out. Let's keep going. Cruising through the night. Yeah, it's very conveniently located. But watch out for the bed bugs. Trail side, just take a little break. Honestly, I would if it, I wasn't grossed out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Redlands Strada Rosa is one of our local races. Well, Redlands is like 45 miles east from where we live. So yeah, local-ish, I guess. Um, but we've never raced this before. You probably always see us just do the LA Tourist. So maybe when we're done, it'd be interesting to compare the two. We're on some steep stuff now. Oh, too steep. How are you feeling so far though? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? I can't tell. Like I feel good and then I feel bad and then yeah. it's not, it hasn't been consistent. Look at these views though. And now I know why they call it Redlands. Yeah, all the the dirt roads are very, very red colored. You can see the side there. It's such a nice contrast with the green. Yeah, yeah, it's really beautiful this time of year. Ruts are a little bit intense with all the rain. Yeah, it probably used to be better, but I don't know. Going through a terrible sandy section. I don't know what we're doing. I think we're lost. I'm pretty sure there's gotta be a trail. I mean, this does not look like a trail. Oh, well, not really. It kind of got smaller and smaller until it disappeared right out. We are on a paved road now. It looks like it's going to be a paved climb. What's up? Huh? Are you kidding me? Looks like this is a trail. And I was just telling the camera how I thought this climb, climb was gonna be all paved. Oh my goodness, okay. Well, here we go. This is so great. Are you still with us? Am I dropping you yet? Huh? Am I dropping you yet? Oh yeah. <laughs> really, really beautiful up here. Look at the mountains. Falling to pieces in my room. Are you coming over? That's cool. I could use a little something to do. We could go outside, take a little ride if you want to. That's cool.
look there's a cute patch of flowers over there oh my goodness we missed this little turn <sighs> we kept going down that way but it was up this way so Woo! this is thunderbird trail exhausted or something a little bit I was trying to go fast to catch up to you this stuff is so good! <laughs> Want me to say something? <laughs> I come up with nothing. Maybe we can talk until we figure out a topic. Been so long in my head, caught up in my feelings. I've been waiting for Ooh. something new to happen. Want me to say something? I come up with nothing. Maybe we should talk until we figure out a topic. Been so long. single track area it was so beautiful I could be done with my ride right now and be happy too bad we're only halfway <laughs> we are on this gravel trail that's behind this neighborhood it has really good views <laughs> Got a steep one right there. Holy moly. We are about to start a 780 something foot climb. I don't know how many miles it is, but it's because I have my hammer hit on sleep mode because I don't want it to die. But we're just gonna go up, up, up. And then we'll be getting close to our 6,000 foot mark. How are you feeling? Ooh, it's been a long day, man. Yeah. A lot of kind of slow rolling stuff. Yeah. I feel okay, I guess. I don't know. Uh -huh. <laughs> Just like you asked okay, me in the beginning, yes. how do you feel? <laughs> I don't know. This is so awesome. There's no one back here. Nobody. This looks epic. Epic. Want me to say something? I come up with nothing. Maybe we can talk until we figure out a topic. Been so long in my We have left the park area. I don't know. Wildwood Canyon State oh. Park. Wildwood Canyon. It was beautiful. I wish we had more time to keep exploring because we only did a section of it. There's so much more. 44.5 miles in. 5,800 feet. We're almost done. Not really. Almost before it gets dark. Before it gets dark. Let's go. Ready for the next little bit of off road. This is the last section of off road, right? I thought we were done, but I guess we're not. Let's go. This is the end of the, I that was a nice little section, but it was too short. This one's hefty. You're hefty. They're not Jeez. ripe yet. Where do I put it? I guess we weren't done with the off-road and- Fun never ends. Look at this little trail. Go! Yeah. What the heck? That's Teddy's trail. It was single track, super thin and sandy. It was so sandy. You're just like <laughs> slide. You're trying to stay in this little tiny sliver of trail and then it's all sandy. So you're just like sliding back, sliding back and forth between it all. I was like, at any point, I'm going to end up in the bushes. It's going to happen. But then we get out the trail and check out the view. <laughs> so good. So good. So what, are we going ride 
or left. Let's check the hammerhead. I keep thinking we're done. And then there's more and more and more. So here's another gravel section. Woohoo! Do it. We're back on the road. I didn't record any of that little section, but woof! It was so nice. Wasn't it, Joe? Here we are, starving. So when you compare it to LA tourists, what would you say? Um, I mean, I guess the overall like distance and all that's about the same. Yeah. But on this, it's like it's broken up into so many small little parts. Whereas like the tourist race, you have like big climbs, mm -hmm. long sections that are difficult. Whereas this is like, I don't know, there was. There was still some technical stuff, but there wasn't anything crazy technical. There was hard stuff. There was like super standy, slow moving stuff, but. Yeah, there's more gravel on this. I, we didn't do that much road. I think we do a lot more road on the LA tourist, but the sections that are gravel are a lot harder Yeah. on the LA tourist. And then. I mean, um, it depends on the route, of course, yeah. but on average. On average, for sure. Well, thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, share and subscribe share with a buddy it keeps us making these videos so please help us out a little bit until next time big mountain riders out, out.